Tommy. <laughs> Devo, this is uh, not your first rodeo, man, but you know the third time going through this. Just how did it feel to see the name pop up on the screen, and how are you feeling? Ah, oh, it's fun for sure. I'm um, just going, like you said, it's my third time, and, and seeing the pop up the third time, you know, it's so exciting. And I know the guys are excited because I mean a lot of those guys haven't been in this position, and so I'm excited for them as well. How much Illinois basketball have you watched this year? I watched I watched them on quite a, quite a few, uh, especially Terrence Shannon. Um, I think I like him today. Um, but he's pretty good. He's played against him, of course. Um, just when he was at Texas Tech, uh, Texas Tech so I've been watching him a little bit. Do you remember anything specifically about Terrence Shannon, or just kind of? Yeah, I just know his game. His game has evolved. Um, um, I like to watch basketball, so of course I watched. Um, I watched a lot of college, and I played college, and so um, I. Watch, watched um, Illinois overall. Um, I think they got a solid, solid team for sure. Um, they lost a few guys last year, but I think their, their team this year is pretty good for sure. So, they did a lot of SEC teams made. Then, what do you, what do you think about that and the fact that you, you played a, you know, obviously a bunch of NCAA tournament teams in conference play? Well, how, how does that toughen you guys up for the NCAA tournament? Do you think? Uh, I think we'll be ready. Um, the SEC is one of the toughest conferences to play in, and so I think. Um, going into um, the Illinois game, I think the toughness part um, will be there for us for sure. Yeah, there have been some years where the SEC didn't, didn't get that that many teams in. I mean, I don't know, 15 years ago, I think they got three. Obviously, it's gotten better. But how good? Do you, what do you think that says about the league? Ah, uh, that is a, it's, it's extremely um, competitive. Um, it's a lot of talent. Um, it's a lot of guys that goes from one year, two years in the SEC to to the NBA, and so. It's a lot of talent and it shows. And when you add in teams like Creighton and San Diego State and Baylor, I think over half, I think maybe 17 out of 33, even I know that's a little over half um, of the teams you all played or NCAA tournament teams. What, what do you think about that? Oh, it just helps us, you know. Uh, we, if we've seen a team before and we meet up with them, uh, we know what to expect. Um, we, and we know what how to, how to counter things. And so um, I think it just helps us overall. Being an older guy on the team, have you talked to the younger guys about what to expect here with the tournament? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, of course, they don't know what to expect. And even some of the new guys, they haven't been in a position, like I said, to be going to March Madness. So, um, yeah, I talked to them and, and told them that it's going to be fun, but it's also going to be tough and it's going to be hard, hard-nosed basketball. And so hopefully um, we'll get to prep for, uh, right after this and, and, and start getting to work. You know, last year you guys got sent to, to Buffalo and then you, know, you advanced to San Francisco this year. I think Des Moines is about a six hour, six and a half hour drive, so it's close to site. If you win, you'll be in Kansas City, which is even closer. How, how good do you feel about the location of where y'all are playing? Um, I think we just got to come ready to play no matter where we're playing. Uh, we know fans are going to come out for sure to support it no matter where we're playing. So I think if we come ready to play no matter the location, I think it'll be a good, a good scene. Um, trying to get to that, that final four in Houston. Can you take anything from the past success you've had the past two years and carry it in this year? Yeah, for sure. Um, just I think just going going in, knowing that the game is not going to be easy. Um, you have to fight for it, and it's when to go home. And it's a lot of teams that's not playing right now, and I know a lot of dudes that's um, on teams that's not playing right now, and it's not a good feeling. They talk to me about their season and have feels, and so I don't want – not just me, but the guys that may may not be coming back to feel the way they are after like ending a season that could be history um, for the the University of Arkansas. And so um, we're just gonna try try as hard as we can to continue to play on. Eric was talking after the game Friday night that that loss really stung, and he really wasn't. You know, he could tell you guys were all disappointed. Um, have you? Totally put that one in the back, and just how exciting is it when you have a disappointing loss for two days later? You're you're part of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, um, I still think about it. Um, I think I think about a lot of games still, and and it's just because I love the game of basketball, and as we all know, Coach Bush loves it. He eat, sleep, and, and dream about basketball, and so I mean, it's hard losing, and and like you said, the turnaround is quick. But I think, like you said, it has to it has to be quick, just because, like you said, we're in the NCAA tournament, we have to prepare. I mean, is that a good feeling? You can flush that bad feeling because you got good news. Right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But we know we have to clean up the things that we um that I guess you could say wasn't flawless on like we like we supposed to have been. And so uh, we clean up and from the Texas A&M game, we showed that we can play with the the, the talent um, in, in the SEC. And so I think we'll be ready for Illinois game for sure.
Makai seemed like he had a pretty pretty good tournament. What, what do you thought about Makai's games in Nashville? Maybe how he's coming around? Oh, his stock is growing for sure. Uh, him and his brother, and uh, I think it'll continue. Yeah, what, what did he do there that you really liked? Uh, just just getting on the offensive board, doing all the small things that a lot of people don't see. Um, we, we know he can get the ball in there and, and make a smart decision by kicking it out or doing a post fade or whatever the case may be. But I think the small things helps us with uh, with Makai and his brother. Steve, was it nice to be in an atmosphere like this for the selection show party? Because, you know, you see a lot of teams in different atmospheres, I grew up in university, but here you're, you know, a lot of fans, you have the band. How nice was it to, to be in this atmosphere tonight? No, it's wonderful um, to get the support for sure. I, um, I, I love it because the younger guys, I think, needs it. You know, I think it helps them, helps the confidence for sure. Um, a lot of the older guys that has transferred in didn't get this. And so I'm glad that um, the Razorback Nation is showing up for the guys that hasn't seen it before. You know, obviously, guys don't have the record you did the last couple of years. You didn't get on a roll in SEC play quite like you did. but. Do you feel good this team can still get on a, a roll like the last two teams did? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's all about the, the work. The work, and I think um, as as we continue to practice and and and, and get ready for Illinois, I think it, it just it is it's all about the work that we have put in in the summer, and, and that's what it comes down to. Because once you get to the Elite Eight, um, of course, I've been there, and it's not it's not about the the body blows and things like that at that point it's you got to sometimes put it in god's hand you know because everybody exhausted um when it gets to that point and so yeah i think i think um i can say that we'll be ready for sure for for whatever is coming ahead of us anything else for Devo? all right appreciate it got an AV coming